another outlet for singers and musicians. Um, so she decided to start the first a cappella group on campus, Vocal Synergy, um, and it was all female. And from that, other groups formed like the Testosterones, which is now turned into Basic, and a co-ed group from out of nowhere. I can't go, see anybody could be bad to you. You need a good girl to blow your mind. Improv with them, sing with them, and you're all on the same playing field, and you're all performing in the same space, and it's just like the show of a lifetime. Had no idea what to expect. We were like, yeah, we did the best we could. Like, I'm proud of us for just going out there and doing it. And then they call our name for a choreo award. And we're like, what? Like, that's that's awesome. Like, because I did, um, I choreographed two of the songs, and I was like, all right, like, cool. And then they call our name for first place, and it was just like a movie. I was screaming, and everyone was like crying and hugging, and they were like, sing, sing. And like, we got up there and we sang. So that was really cool. <laughs> Most often, somebody just decides, hey, I want to do this song, and they arrange it, and it's usually our music director, Maddie, who is a genius, she just is, like, she, the things she comes up with, and, like, the amount she comes up with, she arranges so many songs, and they're all so good. When we want audition for the sing-off, um, oh, what's his name? The famous guy? Dick Sharon. Dick Sharon. Dick Sharon literally wrote her name down because he was so impressed with the Kanye medley. Who Dick Sharon? Oh, Dick Sharon is in charge of the sing off and like all acapella. He's president of acapella. Music director of Pitch Perfect. Music director of Pitch Perfect, too. I'm just guessing about the president thing. Um, but yeah, that's most often how it happens is Maddie arranges it or um, our AMD Lisa or another member, Haley and Jeriana, often arrange things. Occasionally we'll um, workshop something, so we'll uh, think of a song that we want to do and work together to think of something. <laughs> When 
on this huge tour to California. And I'm so excited because that's where I'm from. So that'll be super exciting to show everybody my hometown where I went to school and sing for all of my family and friends who don't usually get to come all the way out here to New York to see local synergy and all the things that we do. But besides that, for this winter break that we're going on, we're in the talks of some really big things for next year. Some people want to go international, but we'll see if that can happen. And some people are also interested in going down south again. We got pretty close to South Carolina before, but now we want to go even further. accomplishment hasn't happened yet but I think our greatest accomplishment would be Cali and because for us that's like you know we've only done southern tours which is we went down to South Carolina which was awesome but we drove and it like you know wasn't that extensive but this Cali tour is like we have like two or three gigs every day and it's gonna be crazy and the amount of money that we're making is gonna be insane and it's gonna be like a full tour and it's gonna be across the country which means that we're literally spreading our music like nationwide which is the coolest thing in the world to say um, and it's just the fact that we decided like a month ago that we wanted to go to Cali. We were like, you know what, let's just go on tour to Cali. And then we worked our butts off and we did it and we fundraised enough money. And now we're going to go there and we're going to go to Disneyland and that's going to be insane. So I think that is definitely one of our greatest accomplishments. Um, as for what's next for Vocal Synergy, I feel like, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's me, but I feel like at this point the sky's the limit. We were talking about possibly doing an Ireland tour next year, which everybody else says isn't going to happen, but I think it's going to happen. Um, so that would make us international, which would be so cool. Um, either that or New Orleans. Um, we're going to record a CD this year, which is going to be awesome, and you should buy it once it's out. Um, and as for that, just like more competitions, more fame, more fortune. Wagner is sponsoring us now, which is awesome and like a huge honor because we're getting um, gear from the bookstore to help promote Wagner when we're on tour and singing to high schools. Um, President Garassi has just been like so behind us and helping our group really go to the next level. So I think, you know, like I said before, I think it's sky's the limit for vocal synergy. You got this swag, you got this attitude. I've never said this before, but we do have a Facebook what? and a Twitter <laughs> and an Instagram what? and a Vine. We did have a Snapchat, but we decided to get rid of that. It's not a good idea. Um, but you guys should all go follow us on that because they're awesome and hysterical, and we post like hysterical things. I think, it's pretty especially the Vine. If you don't have a Vine, you should get it. Vine is hilarious. Because we don't post Vines of music, we just do movie remakes now for some reason. 